There is some agreement and of course some disagreement with this new thing, and we will go over those, so stay tuned till the end. All in all, I'm a little down the middle with this, but I do most certainly have a position. I lean more right wing on this than I do left wing, but I do agree with some of the left wing takes. Why not take a hard stance and be just right wing? Well, because typically that whole I'm right because I'm right stance doesn't provide growth within a community. What do you mean by I'm right wing because I'm right wing? Well, for instance, I am right wing. But I don't just agree with everything the right wing does or say just because I'm right wing. And the same goes the other way. Just because someone is left wing doesn't mean that I do nothing but disagree with them. There is a common ground between everyone if we like to acknowledge it or not. So you're a fence sitter then? Absolutely not. Fence sitting has done nothing for no one except for lowering the birth rate cause now you got no danglies down below you cause you castrated yourself by sitting on a jagged fence. Though, to continue, before we get to those agreements and disagreements, I will talk from my position first so you know where I stand. I am a conservative and a Christian, but I also don't agree with the Ten Commandments being in school. It should rather be kept in church or with individuals who are believers. School is supposed to be a place for education, you know, learning your one plus one equation and learning other languages and so on and so forth. Church and school are two different places of learning and should be kept as such. There are other ways to go about gathering the youth to Christianity that are better than force feeding it to them. Now, while I do think that, I also would say that school is meant to be a clean slate of education. It is a place where you send your kids to learn their addition, to go and learn about science, how to read and write, how to do athleticism, how to talk to other people and form relationships without your parents guiding you hand over foot to do that. Teachers are meant to teach education. And yes, within education comes learning about how you have a relationship with authority, that being between child and teacher. And the children are going to learn about that teacher's belief and how they think and talk. And just before we get to those videos, let me say this turning point between teacher and child. My thoughts is that if you don't want Christianity to be force fed to children, then every ideology shouldn't be force fed to children. That is to say, keep things like LGBTQ stuff, like pride flags and such, out of schools, BLM stuff, out of schools, and dress codes for teachers should be kept in place. I don't want my supposed kid to go to school with a teacher who looks like a nun. I want my kid to go to school with a teacher, someone who wears a clean fit of clothing with beliefs not attached to it. The teacher is meant to teach, not share beliefs. I am not sending my kid to school with a Bible, and the teachers shouldn't be going to school looking like a nun. Neither should the teacher be going to school and then be placing their Bible sitting up on their desk so the kids see it. Beliefs should be kept hidden unless asked about. Children are young and are sponges for learning. If they ask, hey, do you believe in something? Then you should respond accordingly. If a child asks me, for instance, let us say that I'm a teacher for example's sake, if a child were to ask me, hey, do you believe in something? I would respond by telling that child that I believe in Christianity and leave it at that. Can we get to that video yet? You're taking forever. Yes, we will get to those, but I'm going to give my perspective first so that everybody knows where I'm coming from. So please be patient. Now, if the child were to infer further about me being Christian, then I would indulge that curiosity. But if the child doesn't infer any further, then I would leave it at that. Cause I am here to teach education, not my belief. 
But to bring this back, the same goes for the LGBTQ stuff and BLM stuff and whatever stuff. I don't really care what it is. If it is not about education, then leave it at home or hidden from the kids. Unless asked about. BLM is a movement, not an education. Pride is an ideology, not education. And Christianity is an ideology or belief, whatever you want to call it. It is not education. Leave everything that isn't education at home or hidden. The kids are brought to school to learn about mathematics and language skills, not to learn about how you're a part of the LGBTQ or Christian. Now, let us get to those videos. Fucking finally. Well, if you haven't been paying attention, I hope you are now. Because Louisiana Governor Jeff Landry signed a bill into law requiring the Ten Commandments be displayed in public classrooms. This is the first and only state to be doing something like this. How is this happening? How are we going backwards? Like, why is it such a hard concept for politicians to understand that your personal faith and religion have no place in politics or classrooms? I'm a Catholic, and I don't think this is okay. Like, personally, I think this is indoctrinating children. And isn't it funny that anything that had to do with diversity, equity, and inclusion, they lost their minds over. If anybody put up a pride flag or a BLM flag or anything like that, holy crap, they lost their minds. Let's not even talk about the books that they perceived to be inappropriate for children, which most of them weren't. So hopefully we can get this through some thick skulls. The reason we don't put up a bunch of Christian crap in classrooms and in politics and public buildings and federal buildings and stuff like that is because not everybody that's American is Christian. <gasps> I know, shocking. So you're looking at our Muslim Americans and everybody else that practices a different religion and shocker, people that don't practice any religion and you're saying, here, you have to look at this, you have to read this, you have to acknowledge this. And to everybody who's planning on not voting because you're tired of the lesser of two evils, I hope you're paying attention because there will be a lot more of this if you don't get your butt out and vote. But hey, if they want to talk about pornographic novels, I got a good one they should read. So are you going to help me stop these Christian nationalists from taking over our country? No? Okay. So his first comment, how are we going backwards? And just to note, I will most certainly get to him saying, why is it such a hard concept for politicians to understand that your personal faith and religion have no place in politics or classrooms? But before I go over that obviously stupid statement just used to further leftist talking points, I will go over how are we going backwards. I want to point out the hypocrisy in that. How is bringing something old, quote unquote, to equalize everything new going backwards exactly because how i see this is that it is something old where christianity used to be taught in schools and something new like things like pride and it is just creating equalization both are ideologies only one is new and the other is old i see no problem with this equalization that is happening if you don't want something old, then you should also take away the new, because neither are important when it comes to learning education. Now, for the other statement, when he says, Like, why is it such a hard concept for politicians to understand that your personal faith and religion have no place in politics or classrooms? I'm a Catholic, and I don't think this is okay. Like, personally, I think this is indoctrinating children. And isn't it funny that anything that had to do with diversity, equity, and inclusion, they lost their minds over. If anybody put up a pride flag or a BLM flag or anything like that, holy crap, they lost their minds. It is something, I'm guessing, that he is saying just to evade the word belief. And the reason for me thinking that is because saying faith and religion is essentially saying the same word twice. 
but the reason for saying both words is to narrow things down. And the reason for narrowing things down is to try and make something black and white, rather than saying beliefs, which is a gray zone, because beliefs would also include things like BLM and pride. But as he is left-leaning, he is of course not going to say beliefs because that goes directly against what he believes as a lefty. And I just wanted to point that out. Also, I want to point out the obvious hypocrisy he says that right-wing lost their minds when a pride flag was put up. But now he is losing his mind over the Ten Commandments being put up. And for another thing, him claiming to be Catholic means absolutely nothing. The only reason that he is saying that is to group himself with the opposition to seem like an ally. It is a lie and you shouldn't believe his words. They are just used to gain an in with you when he only plans to best himself. It is like a white person saying, I'm white and think that X is wrong. It is a pointless statement only used to try and gain an in with people. He is a wolf in sheep's clothing tending to be just like you when he only plans on eating you later because you disagreed with him being a sheep. Do not trust his leering statements just used to gain credence to his nothing burger statement. Saying I'm X and disagree with Y is a pointless statement that should not be trusted as it is only a statement used to further their own agenda. And to finish this off, him saying towards the end, Christian crap just furthers my belief in him just being an allied grifter. If he was Catholic, then he wouldn't be using expletives to describe a supposed true ally of his. We believe in the same God, yet he describes his brethren as crap. He is a liar and shouldn't be trusted with a snow cone. And to take his last statement of... And isn't it funny that anything that had to do with diversity, equity, and inclusion, they lost their minds over. If anybody put up a pride flag or a BLM flag or anything like that, holy crap, they lost their minds. Let's not even talk about the books that they perceived to be inappropriate for children, which most of them weren't. So hopefully we can get this through some thick skulls. The reason we don't put up a bunch of Christian crap in classrooms and in politics and public buildings and federal buildings and stuff like that is because not everybody that's American is Christian. <gasps> I know, shocking. So you're looking at our Muslim Americans and everybody else that practices a different religion and shocker, people that don't practice any religion and you're saying, here, you have to look at this, you have to read this, you have to acknowledge this. I would just like to point out that not everybody agrees with BLM, and not everybody is pride. And so, just like how we should keep quote, Christian crap out of politics in schools, we should also keep BLM and pride quote, crap out of schools as well. But I think that is just about enough on my thoughts from this. Uh, what say you, Gerald? You were pretty silent through it all. It's not like you really gave me space to speak. You just took the mic and ran with it and forgot about me. What can I say? I'm passionate about people being con artists. I don't hate it. In fact, I agree with what you said. I just think that you didn't go far enough when calling him what he is. A wolf in sheep's clothing, a liar, and con artist. Well, it is comforting to know that I get your agreement in that. Well, I still think you're too much of a fence-sitter here because you didn't straight up annihilate what he said. You just scraped the surface, and also, it kind of just comes off that you went off on him just because he called you Christian crap. Oh, well, I'm just a logical person through and through. And if the argument doesn't make sense or seems veering, then I'm going to call it out even if it isn't against me. But, uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys are thinking down below. I understand that this video was a bit longer, but as I said, I was a bit passionate with this one, and I just think that if you're not living in truth, honesty, critical thinking, uh, reliability, self-control, and consistency with your words and actions, then you're just someone who shouldn't be trusted at all. But, anywho, have a good one.